Hallo, meine Lieben. Freude, was geht, was geht, was ist, muss es guten Abend, guten Tag. What we have today is going to be an interview from an individual from Baden-Württemberg. And I have a lot of questions. This will be a pretty chill video. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning viewers, welcome back. Uh, feel free to join the Discord server. It'll be the only link in the description down below. And if you guys want to talk to me, just go ahead, hop in there and message me. And hopefully I will be online when you guys send me a message. But here's the interview. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. But before you do that, abonniert diesen Kanal und like the video, bitte, if you haven't already. Uh, share it with some friends. And if you guys... I uh, think that some of the questions were answered a bit weird or whatever. Um, I don't know. Just give me your own personal experience. Everybody's experience is different, and I'm very curious to find out what life is like in bottom bottom book. All right, los kids. Yo, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going, man? I am actually filming a video right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. So you're from uh, bottom bottom book? Yeah, I'm from bottom bottom book. I've been living there all my life. Nice, 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 nice. Like. Uh, I, I know I'm gonna probably ask some some super generic questions and stuff, man. First no of all, thank you so much uh, for doing this. This is amazing. I was not expecting anybody to message me and stuff at all about it, but um, no problem. Like uh, out of all the, the the states and stuff in Germany and stuff, would you say that like this might be your favorite? Well, you know, I think it's the most balanced state um, in terms of you know in in uh, Bayern you got. Um, it's very big, but also a lot of people. But um, it's just very big, very large landscapes in North Rhine-Westphalia. You made a video, a video about that yeah. uh, too, and it's very populated. You know, it's very you know Köln and Düsseldorf, are very populated cities. Absolutely. And I think Baden-Württemberg is very balanced. You know, you got uh, Stuttgart, very huge industrial city and oh, Stuttgart's huge buildings of Baden-Württemberg. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very much in the center of Baden-Württemberg. Oh, what? Oh my God! What's, yeah. what's the capital, by the way? Stuttgart. It is. It is Stuttgart. Oh my it God! Is, I, it is Stuttgart. Holy yeah. shit! I, I I I know you said it was in the center, but I didn't think it was the capital. Like that's that's crazy. What? Yeah. What? Oh my God! It's the biggest city. It's it's just um, you know every way in in uh, every road in in Baden-Württemberg probably leads some way to to, to Stuttgart. Oh my god! In, in, I don't I don't know every every road from everywhere you are in in the in the in Van Lundberg, everything leads to Stuttgart. You know? Yeah. There's so many so so many people working there or even living there. Just that makes a lot of but, sense. But what I wanted to say is, um, but there's also a lot of um, you know small small villages. Um, from, for example, myself, I uh, live in a very small village about, I don't know, three or four thousand people live here. But the next um, village beside it, mm -hmm. just uh, about 50 people uh, live there. So it's very, some small, small villages, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah. But that makes a lot of sense. But it's also, it's just uh, 20 minutes away from um, Stuttgart. Oh wow, <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's actually really yeah. cool. Like, like I, 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 I was curious because I, uh, I guess I started, uh, I did a video on Bavaria, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. This is this mm -hmm. is dope. And then, in like the Bavaria video, it mentioned Baden Württemberg and Zarland, and I'm like, what? So then I did a video on Zarland, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then Baden Württemberg was brought up again, um, and I'm like, Baden Württemberg. Ugh. Baden Württemberg is uh it seemed like a pretty cool like area to kind of like cover and get into because now I'm curious about that I, do, do you think it's an, an area that a lot of tourists fly out to go see or is it less common than like you know Bavaria or North Rhine-Westphalia or wherever else in in Germany um I would say it's it's up there with the most uh, visited places but really oh, it's wow. not the visited place. I think it's more, more. Um, you know, the there are more castles in 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 uh, Bad Wurnberg. Most of the castles are in Bad Wurnberg. Yeah. So I think it's more of um, more of the older generation go to uh, Bad Wurnberg. Yeah, that makes but sense. But someone, someone who just want to party or will probably go to Berlin or in Köln or Cologne. Or you know, just to, to 
the big populated cities. Absolutely. Actually, I had a question about the castle because that got my attention. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm like, what? Yo, have you been to the castle or inside the castle at all in your life or? or no? Um, what castle was it? I don't uh, the Hol Hol remember. Holtzern Castle. The Holt Holtzern something. It starts with an H. Uh, a Holt. Hol Hohen Zollern, okay. yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. No, I uh, never been to that. Um, there are a whole lot of castles around here, you know. The, it's like the biggest one, I think. It's like the most massive. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're far, 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 very far. Um, you know, um, the the Disney castle. Yeah. yeah. Um, the 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 real castle, you know, from where Disney got the uh, get a ID from the for Disney castle. Is located in Baden Württemberg. What? Uh, so, it, so it is Schloss. that castle, that big ass. No, castle. no, no. It, it, it's another one. It's oh, another, another one. one. Uh, oh, yeah, my bad. Schloss Neuschwanstein. How do you say it again? Neuschwanstein. Neuschwanstein. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> oh wait, wait. Say it one more time. Neuschwanstein. Neuschwanstein. Yeah. Hot. Like you know. Somehow, somehow. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But but you get it. It's just um, I don't know. It's not really translatable. It's, it would be called something like new uh, swan stone. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too random. I don't know. That's crazy. That looks. That, that's so cool. Like so. That's that massive castle that's on that super high hill, like by itself. Like it's like it's above all the trees and stuff. Most of castles are other, yeah. As you know, there's two types of castles. Um, a castle that is um, more of a tourist area. It's like um, in, in in the woods. There's many of that. Um, yeah. I think there's many of that. And there's like more populated castles where uh, cities are built around the castle, uh, the, the, uh, the old castle mostly, um, yeah. and. Like what is what is an example? Um, I don't know a real name of a city, but I've been to uh, Falcony, I think it's called, um, which is very uh, where are just birds and something, um, and it was in a old castle. So that's cool. There can actually, but I, I think one of your questions was if there are businesses in such castles not in the large ones but in some smaller smaller castles are used as a, as a business like, that is so cool i was i, I know yeah. i was joking in that video like it would be funny if they they use one of those castles as like a drive through like uh like hey welcome to mcdonald's and it's like this legendary castle or something yeah <laughs> that would be so crazy but uh, i think it's very expensive to to even rent it um so really? or oh. own it so you know if you think um this this new buildings are are expensive um a castle is is um super expensive it no it's like super expensive you can't you can't buy it you Absolutely. just you can't it's like a it has no so much well it has so much uh historical importance and nostalgia behind it you know so i i would have i would imagine like that would play a huge factor into how much a castle costs i mean imagine like uh, a billionaire trying to make a castle his 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 home base you know like yeah oh yeah and then of course souping up the castle with like modern technology that would cause mil like uh, millions of dollars I'm, I'm i'm willing to bet millions of dollars i'm yeah, pretty sure yeah. for, for a castle if i were to take a guess and i don't know if this is accurate or not but if you wanted to own the biggest castle in germany i would even venture to say it would be at least a half a billion half a billion to own a castle in my opinion. yeah at least yeah at the very it least. Might, might be even more i mean yeah it's huge there's like, so much there's so much story and history behind it you know there there i don't i don't know i don't know if anyone even would dare to price it i don't know it's just People it's just can't. unreal you know exactly just, exactly i would never really attempt to even come close to first of yeah. all i would never have a billion you know, dollars but I, I would also never buy a castle <laughs> <laughs> you know even if you if you own it um there would be a lot of restrict restrictions um of what you can do with it you know it's still it's uh, it's protected by by the government um, right. even if you own it it would still be protected so you can't do anything in, in the walls you know you can't just 
drill a hole or whatever, you know? True, it just, true, 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 yeah. It, it wouldn't hold together, so I don't think in some way it wouldn't be really interested. You, you just, you have to use them as um, as a tourist attraction to, to, to really make the most out of it, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I completely understand. Uh, another question I had for you too is um, the type of German that I'm learning is obviously Hochdeutsch, but is do, do they speak, do you guys speak Hochdeutsch in uh, baden württemberg or is it like a, a different dialect or is it a mix, a big mix, or is it just like pretty much Hochdeutsch and then some different dialects here and there kind of? Uh, I think the only real dialect that is spoken uh, is Schwäbisch. Oh, Swabia, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think most most of us we 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 train out the uh, Schwäbisch and them. And we we mostly just speak um, Hochdeutsch in uh, in school, you know. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Also, outside of school, you guys, like, like conversational-wise, it'd be Swabish, pretty much? No, not really. You, when you, uh, only when you speak with elder people, they oh, speak okay. more, more, more uh, Swabish. But I think when, you, when I just speak with, with, with friends, I don't really use much uh, Swabish, Schwabish uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, words. It's, it's sometimes confusing to switch around. You know? Oh no, no, it's fine. That's why. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying Swabish because you guys say Swabish. I, 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 I was gonna say Swabish or whatever, but like I'm like I'm just trying to get my my pronunciation down for some of this stuff. And if I butcher and stuff, let me know. Like just be like, bro, that's not how you say. It. <laughs> I guess I, I I do the same things in English, so that's okay. It's all good, man. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like uh, I only have a few more questions. Oh, I guess one of them is uh. Is there any food specific to bottom Württemberg, like like a bread? I, I know there's like I, I, I mm. keep saying this, like there's like three thousand two hundred different types of bread in Germany, and I was wondering if there's like bakeries exclusive to just bottom Württemberg. And I know it's a big state, so like obviously like there might be that maybe you haven't discovered yet. But is there anything that stands out that you're like, oh, I remember going here and this had some good, good stuff, good food, you know, good food bread. I don't think there's there's anything that covers whole Baden-Württemberg. I think Baden-Württemberg is such a mixed state, like I said, it's just um, it's everything. You got a border to, to Switzerland, you got a border to France, you you know, it's just it, it depends on where you where you're located in Baden-Württemberg. You got some, I don't know, maybe with the border to France they eat more white bread, um, more like uh, uh, in the direction of Bayern. They, I don't know. It, I don't know about that. Uh, it's just speculation, but I just think it's very different in um, compared to where you live. I think in mostly in um, when you look at this middle, like in Stuttgart, there's not really much. I don't know. It's it, it's it's really, it's really difficult to really know the the, the culture of, of of Stuttgart. You need to go in the small places. Because there it's more common. Um, in Stuttgart, there's just a new culture. It's like, uh, like you know, it's just um, it's like a progressive kind of culture. Or like a, yeah, yeah. That makes a lot it's of just, sense. It's just so you can't compare small villages to Stuttgart, even if it's it's ten minutes and you're from there to there. You know, big the the yeah. culture is such a big difference because you have the the. Not only just the the, um, the people who live there or, or work there, it's just more people work in Stuttgart than live in Stuttgart. There are just in every small village there are people who work in Stuttgart. There's so many many people just go there to work. I, mean, I, think, I think that's common for huge cities, I guess. But yeah, that makes a lot. Of it's sense. still it's still much more people going there to work than people actually going there to live because the people who live there it's not very much space to to live you know it's oh, yeah, just it's, um, it's, it's like a city environment yeah. and stuff so it makes a lot of sense so like i mean and i, and I know like cities like to stack people on top of each other and stuff and like tall buildings yeah. and stuff like that yeah. and people are like oh my god and you know i i guess it's interesting because i used to when i was i i grew up in chicago uh, and i lived in a high rise most of my life right and I'm like, you know what, when I get older, I want to be able to move back to Chicago, live in a high rise again. 
but I guess as I'm getting older, man, I kind of value like you know peace and and qu- not not quiet per yeah. se, but just a more chilled, relaxed environment. So I feel like if I ever did live in Germany, you know, I would love to to live in the city because I'm a city kid at heart. But I wouldn't mind living closer to nature, you know, not in the farms, but you know, what I'm saying like it kind of in yeah. a more rural area, like a smaller town, <laughs> which would be cool. That's that's what I love about Baden-Württemberg. It's just the 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 big city and the small small village or small you know the farmland or this big sunrise it's just 10 minutes 10 10 minutes you go from there to there and you just have such a big difference between you know a short period of time i think that's also absolutely what's special about germany because it's so small but so many cultures in, in one you know yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense like i think uh the biggest thing i can um well i guess pretty much my last question and i know i i did like i kind of looked at i looked it up online and saw a few things but if there's anything um you can recommend doing right because like i said i'm trying to find a way to plan a trip to germany uh next year mm-hmm. after this whole pandemic thing's over over because i feel like we're pretty much almost done with the pandemic thing at this point it's it's we've beaten this into the ground for the most part it's been going on since like the beginning of the year so i'm like man it's almost a full year of this thing you know so i'm i'm willing to bet at least by the the middle of next year we should be okay i feel like i'm not sure but what what do you what would you recommend like um as far as activities that really stand out in bottom of now i know stuttgart has a lot you know uh, they, it's mm-hmm. got to because obviously it's like a city and stuff but anything ranging from Stutt- stuttgart or to any other place in that area like what would, would you recommend i would have to say i mean it depends you know i think it, you, you have to explore the, the 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 first of all i would say when you go to Germany, don't go to Stuttgart first. Okay. Because it, when you've been to to other um, Bundesländern, then um, or then you you see what also happens in in Stuttgart because Stuttgart pulls many many influences from others. You know, oh. it's just it's it's between Bavaria, between France, between Switzerland, between. Um, not rhine westfalen it's it's just between everything you know yes, so yes. that's what i said earlier you know it depends on where you are you have more influence more you're more influence from another culture so yeah that makes you just have to see the difference so i mean what's very interesting is the, the bodensee it's um, a very large lake um, right at the bottom of um, germany mm-hmm. and when you've been there you go to the top of uh, of Baden-Württemberg. That's dope. And then you just wait. When you do that in in a small period of time, you will have the big difference between the the Switzer, uh, Switzerland uh, influence and the more German Hochdeutsch uh, influence. You know, you just have to go from from the bottom to the top in in Baden-Württemberg. Don't stay at one place. It's boring. Yeah, just, of course. Like just move on. Um, I was done. It was, it was, it was silent. Oh, I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> the last thing was, uh, well, I, I guess I already asked the last question. So bonus question, uh, is the political climate in bottom Butterberg like super strong? Like, is it like left versus right? Or is it like super chill and people are just like, eh, do whatever you want. Like it's whatever. <laughs> Cause I know certain places are like that. It's even like that in America, but I wasn't sure yeah. if it was strong, like. You know, oh, poli- politics. You know, <laughs> like most of the things, like I said, it's very balanced. It's very, very, very fifty-fifty. You know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot. It's of just sense. you gotta get a mix of everything. Yeah, I'm not into politics at all. I just, I was just curious because I, I wasn't sure if like, uh, you know, people were so into politics in certain areas that they would actually act upon, um, uh, uh, act on other people, like you know, just say a bunch of crap not, or whatever nah, nah. <laughs> not really i think most people are really friendly even if the i think like i said i think the, the most people here get to accept another another culture another um you know mm-hmm. another point of voting or you know political influence 
they just get to accept something like this and just live with it just you know That's just so see dumb. him and and, it, and it's okay you know yeah absolutely and the the coolest thing about all that is like obviously like you know um people having an open mind because i think it's hard to find nowadays like not it's not super hard to find but it's i don't know i feel like uh it just depends on where you go you know ha having open a mind like kind of helps a, a lot especially yeah, like you know like foreigners traveling to a, new, a newer climate and everything it makes people feel a lot more welcome which is really cool so i'm, I'm really ex excited thank you again for letting me like interview and stuff i might actually hit you up for another interview later if, you, if you're interested <laughs> no problem no problem i appreciate that man. it was it was an honor like i said yeah i mean don't be surprised if this video gets posted in the next like fucking in like 15 minutes i'm gonna like edit a few things and then like throw it up on the channel and stuff but i really appreciate <laughs> it if you want to i could like promote your instagram or something if you have like an instagram or Whatever. um you can promote my twitch account if you want yes actually let me go ahead and uh, scroll down in the chat oh yeah can you yeah post your twitch uh, yeah i give me a sec if you got a link I'll, I'll click on it so people can see it all right everybody we're gonna about to check out uh is it a split or i split just just split AI Split. Everybody go follow him. I'm going to give him a follow right now, too. Bah. <laughs> yeah, everybody go follow AI Split. He's a Twitch streamer. And you play... Is this... Uh, oh, it's Crusader? Crusader. It's Crusader. League of Legends. That's cool. Yeah, just a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. What I want. Well, uh, you know, the Bray Gang has to go raid your, your, uh, your, account, your <laughs> account now. So I guess whenever you stream, I'll know because I'm following you. <laughs> and uh, I'll try to go online i was supposed to stream today to be honest but i got lazy and well not really lazy i had some stuff to take care of at home so um, i'm probably gonna go ahead and um uh stream on wednesday it's monday wednesday friday for me whenever i stream so yeah <laughs> nice um but yeah man thank you so much and um i guess i'll talk to you later that was a really quick interview, and I learned a lot more than I expected at all. You know, I I, I didn't I didn't script this. If you guys know me at all, I don't script my videos. I just do them. You know. So hopefully that was pretty entertaining. If you guys enjoyed that, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to have an opportunity to talk to me, just go ahead and join the Discord server. I'm the most random person ever. So the likelihood of me like you know messaging you to do an interview like this or just talking in voice chat is like a 95 percent chance because <laughs> i'm always in there uh thank you guys so much uh join the discord server get the discord server to 5,000 people we are so close we're so close <laughs> and i can't believe it uh thank you so much bish beta loiter and also all my people from bottom vorderberg that want to jump in and give me you guys this experience or if you're from a different part of germany that want to give me your experience same thing let me know uh go ahead and drop something in the comments down below if you want to add to what we just talked about all that fun stuff but abonnier decent kanal would like the video better bis später leute ciao hey what's up did you guys subscribe to the channel did you subscribe to the channel ah well if you haven't make sure you do that also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always gonna be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys wanna teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You could participate in the community and just make friends. Just Go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's going to be some giveaways in the future. There's going to be some giveaways. But to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? Probably don't know what my Instagram name is. <laughs> it's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no, no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying 
to grow my Twitter. <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know. A lot of we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late. I might create a series where I get I favor my international independent artists and stuff, and I might promote you guys for free. But just it might just be one or two a week, you know. I mean, you guys can give me some feedback on that. But all to say, follow me on my social medias. All right, if you guys aren't doing that already, you need to do that because that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. But enjoy the content I create. It's gonna be random uh, reaction videos, a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos vlogs challenges cooking videos gaming videos anything you guys suggest when you join my discord or message me on instagram but i'll see you guys soon take care follow me peace